Hi viewers, welcome to my tutorial class on mechanics of materials. In today's class, I'll explain a problem on step bar. Let us start. Find the stresses induced in the various sections and the total change in length of a step bar shown in figure. The Young's modulus of the material is 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. So in this problem, when this bar is fixed at the left end and uh, it consists of three different sections. The area of cross section is directly given. This section, the area of cross section is 200 mm square. For second section, it is 250 mm square and uh, last section it is 80 mm square so no need of calculating the area so we don't know what type of section it is whether it's circular or uh, rectangular but directly we are given area of cross section and also we know that it is uniform cross section okay from here to here it is uniform cross section and cross section area is given as 200 mm square similarly for this section also the area is given so all the three sections we know the area the length is given in meters 0 0.2 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 meter now three forces are acting at the end uh, we have a 10 kilo newton force and here there is a 20 kilo newton at this junction applied uh, towards the fixed end and again we have uh, another force 30 kilo newton acting towards right so, so there will be a opposing force here uh, at the fixed end the direction of which may be uh, towards left or towards right depending on the resultant of all these forces acting on the bar. So in this case there is a reaction force here in this particular example it is not required to calculate the reaction force here. So you can easily calculate the reaction force by summing up the forces and equating to zero. So let us solve this by finding out the internal forces in various sections. Now let us take a section here. Okay, this is the first part, first section. So I will denote it by P1, the force, internal force as P1. So to find out the force P1, internal force P1, I'll take a section here and as I explained earlier so you need to consider all the forces on right side so the forces on right part so beyond this section right part whatever forces are there that you need to uh, sum up summing up this you need to take the rightward forces as positive and leftward as negative okay so this is applicable only for right side part summation the force on right side part beyond the section right side part whatever forces are there you are summing up and in that case the rightward forces is positive leftward is negative so here p1 the internal force in this first section p1 is equal to 30 because it's a rightward force plus 30 and this is leftward minus minus 20 and this is rightward so plus 10 so usually we take rightward uh, as positive leftward as negative the same sign convention we can use to find out the internal force here if you take the right side portion beyond the section if you take left side part that will have a different sign convention to find out the internal force so in the second uh, section we need to take the forces on the right side part okay so we we don't have this force we have this 20 kilo newton acting at this junction so minus 20 because it's leftward and this is acting towards right so plus 10 so minus 20 plus 10 we get minus 10 when you come to the last section we have only one force left beyond this section so that is 10 kilo newton acting towards right so plus 10 plus 10 kilo newton so we got the internal forces p1 as 20 kilo newton p2 as 10, minus 10 kilo newton and p3 as plus 10 kilo newton 
what does this sign indicates plus indicates tensile force in that section uh, tensile means it is uh, under uh, stretching so the forces are stretching that part of the member whereas in the second section it is subjected to compressive force negative sign indicates compressive force and that part is subjected to compression and length of this section will reduce due to this compressive force now last section you have a tensile force of magnitude 10 kN so it is subjected to stretching and uh, the length will increase now uh, let us uh, find out the stresses and the force in the first section p1 uh, we know it is 20 kN i have converted into newton by multiplying by 10 raised to 3 each kN is 10 raised to 3 newton now uh, second uh, section we have minus 10 kN so converted into newton so here in third section also uh, taken the force now sigma 1 is p1 by a1 the stress in the first portion the force uh, internal force divided by corresponding area area of the first section is 200 uh, right 200 mm square so the force divided by area will give the stress in that particular section so uh, 20 into 10 raised to 3 that is a force in that section newton divided by 200 that will give 100 newton per mm square as a stress so so much st uh, stress is acting in that section so that means 100 newton per mm square of cross section area it is subjected to 100 newton force similarly stress in the second part is minus 10 into 10 days to 3 divided by 250 you get minus 40 newton per mm square stress is less compared to the first section but it is compressive first section is tensile stress it is compressive stress and it is subjected to only 40 newton per mm square of area and the last section it is p3 the force is 10 into 10 days to 3 divided by area is less 80 so you are getting more stress less area is resisting and this uh, 10 kN force so you are getting 125 newton per mm square so the last section is subjected to maximum stress and uh, stress is 125 newton per mm square of area now let us calculate the change in length so you can use uh, the equation sigma 1 by e1 into l1 because p1 by a1 is already known sigma 1 you can use sigma 1 by e1 into l1 or directly p1 l1 divided by a1 e1 so this is a change in length in the first portion p1 is known a l1 length of the first portion is 0.2 meter so 0.2 meter you can convert into mm as 200 mm so every meter is uh, 1000 mm so 0.2 meter is 0.2 into 1000 200 mm uh, divided by area is 200 Young modulus is 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square. The unit should be consistent. So this is in newton. So force is used in newton. A length is in mm. Okay. So I converted from meter to millimeter. And here the area is in mm square because you have used the unit of length as mm. Here it should be mm square. Area should be in mm square. And the Young's modulus should be in a uh, newton per mm square because force unit is newton so you have to use newton per mm square a uh, length unit is mm so you have to use newton per mm square so uh, when you calculate you get 0.1 mm as a change in length and it is uh, plus plus means there is an elongation in that section first section so much is elongation 0.1 mm the length will increase by 0.1 mm in the second section change in length is p2 l2 divided by a2 e2 p2 is minus 10 into 10 days to 3 into length is 0.3 meter 0.3 meter you can write it as 300 mm divided by a2 area of that section is 250 and young modulus is 2 into 10 days to 5 which will give minus 0.06 mm 
So uh, minus indicates a reduction in length in that uh, section. So similarly, you can find out delta L3 is P3 L3 divided by 3 3. P3 is 10 into 10 raised to 3, 10 kilo newton converted into newton and uh, length is 0.4 meter I converted into mm 400 mm divided by 80 into uh, 80 is the area 80 into 2 into 10 raised to 5 young small which gives 0.25 mm now you can find out the total change in length by adding all the three uh, values by taking the sign convention okay this is negative so that negative sign should be retained so 0.1 minus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.25 which will give uh, totally 0.29 mm so it is plus you are getting a plus sign plus sign indicates uh, in the stepped bar there is a total elongation so much uh, 0 0.29 mm will be the increase in length in the stepped bar there is a total uh, increase in length individual sections are behaving differently first section you have increase second section you have decrease in length and the last section you have increase but ultimately for the entire uh, stepped bar there is an increase the total change is an increase of 0.29 mm so we got the stresses in the individual sections and the total change in length of the stepped bar that's all for this class thank you for watching